All right, guys, just a little bit on the topic. Um, so, like, on my uh, short, I'm currently uploading short video. I s mentioned that I just got these. Well, this is my old one, original. Had this for about four or five years now. Definitely reliable. I use it every day at work. Um, you know, cutting rebar, cutting ties, doing concrete, whatever. Um, and I just got this dude right here. Um, I got this bare tool, uh, just because it's cheaper and I already have a decent amount of batteries just from purchasing tools. Um, so just wanted to tell you guys a little bit why I chose this one. Um, well, I mean, first of all, common sense wise, um, just upgrading from, uh, the original, I believe this is like one of the first ones, cordless ones. Um, definitely works great. Uh, I'm not complaining at all. But, you know, it's been four or five years, and I just thought, why not upgrade, you know? Um, so, I sold this one to my little brother. That's why the batteries are all scribbled on. Uh, just making his mark. Um, but, yeah, so I just got this one. And the reason I chose this one, uh, out of the completely full, fully, um, what is it, flex vault, is because this one can accept 20-volt uh, batteries and the flex vault batteries. And according to everything I've read, that uh, this one actually says it has a flex volt advantage. It will actually produce more power once actually it has a flex volt battery connected to it. So I thought it was a cool option. Um, the way I see it is it's better to have one that could take flex volt batteries and regular batteries, but actually benefit off of them. Because yeah, I know this battery will work on here, but it won't give it an extra kick it needs so it kind of defines the point of having this besides it being bigger and running longer so that's my reasoning of going half and half versus going full in it's not really the the price i was worried about I'm not saying i have a lot of money or nothing but i get these on payments on a firm so i think i'm paying like 20 dollars a month for this one so i could have got the bigger one and still paid like 22 dollars a month so yeah that's what i would definitely consider is one that can work with both and actually take advantage of the flex volt power um the only thing i don't like about this one i haven't used this one in the field yet i just got it is that um this this like paddle kind of switch i personally prefer a, a trigger i kind of like how it has this guard right here in the front too but yeah i mean other than that i definitely consider getting this one it's pretty awesome um, you can hear them sounds. It kind of takes a minute to stop, but that didn't bother me. And here's the sound of this one. One more time. Yeah, see how long that one takes to stop? See how long this one takes to stop. I know I don't have a bullet on it, but this is kind of real quick stuff. I guess they kind of both take long to stop. This one says it has a brake on it, but I genuinely don't even notice it. So yeah, guys, definitely would try, try it out. Um, go with this one if you're looking to upgrade from the bare, bare standard. Um, and just to show you guys, it works without flex volt batteries. Take that one out. And this one is fully charged, by the way. I know a lot of people think, oh, that one wasn't charged. So I don't believe you. Um, so this is also a five amp battery. So you guys see it's in. So yeah. Definitely consider this one if you guys don't want to go full flex volt. I mean, because if you do go full flex volt tools, then you can't utilize these batteries. And then you'd be waiting for your flex volt ones to charge if you don't have freaking 20 of them. So yeah, definitely, definitely worth it.